Hi everyone, uh, I'm here with you. Uh, our main subject today um, is about uh, solar thermal uh, photovoltaic uh, for water heater system. Um, uh, this is uh, this part is about a, a model, not a, a complete system. So first of all, open your MATLAB and uh, after uh, copying your model to your uh, working main folder, go to your destination folder from here, from this path. Don't try to open your module from desktop, okay? And uh, click here, okay? This is my working folder, okay? And this is my uh, module, okay? I click here and uh, sort by name and group by type. This is uh, very important uh, for your uh, uh, model uh, organization to organize your files and uh, uh, you, you, uh, it will become easy for you to uh, I log into your files from here and Excel sheet data and so on. Okay, so we have here this one or this. Uh, I, I, I would like to use version 2. Okay, this is updated one. Okay, this is solar thermal photovoltaic for uh, water heater system. It's about, uh, um, we can say, a double impact, uh, double impacted model. Uh, we have a photovoltaic system for uh, electric power generation. And we have also um, uh, water uh, inside uh, the back bit of your photovoltaic in order to uh, um, uh, cool down the thermal photovoltaic and enhance its efficiency a little bit. And this uh, heated water is essential for uh, uh, heating purposes. Okay, first of all, like... Um, uh, every time double clicking okay we have to assign some uh, major inputs here uh, we need to assign your ambient temperature okay or reference temperature your solar radiation okay and solar radiation limit this is very important solar radiation limit it's about um, when I am going to start uh, collecting my results or uh, um, uh, begin the operation of the unit. So, suppose I would like to begin my uh, uh, my uh, uh, device operation or or being in surface uh, when the solar radiation exceeding over uh, 200 watt per meter square. And this one is solar radiation is variable, so we can control this and see the effect of solar radiation on your system uh, performance and uh, results. Uh, wind speed for thermal losses outside the glass cover uh, inlet water temperature very important mass flow rate okay mass flow rate of your water uh, per kilogram per second uh, it is depending on your size is it uh, large plant so you have to increase this one if it's small size small size of uh, photovoltaic you have to decrease your uh, water mass flow rate okay and uh, we have here open circuit voltage you can assign this and uh, short circuit uh, coefficient electron uh, charge uh, uh, band gap and we have identity factor which type we are going to use which type uh, suppose i'm going for monoclosterine I, I will keep this settings it's uh, as a standard one i, I will keep this uh, I'm going to change the mass flow rate and solar radiation uh, to see the effect, uh, especially solar radiation. And uh, we have packing factor percentage, field factor percentage, resistance. I keep this 1.5. Uh, cells uh, in series, I think 36 as usual, uh, parallel 1. A number of modules uh, is it large area uh, this is the cell area and number of modules is it large uh, photovoltaic uh, system or one module is up to you okay suppose we have 300 modules okay uh, this part is for uh, suppose I, I there's a backing with uh, um, as you can see here the tubes here inside you tubes that holding the water is submerged in a PCM storage in order to conserve some more energy for uh, or to reduce loss, losses uh, to the ambient. Okay, for PCM you have to 
uh, it checks this box okay and enter your uh, some specification pcm uh, thickness what is your pcm thickness storage medium and um, uh, tube diameter of the tube of water number of tubes inside uh, the backing uh, back bit uh, plate thermal conductivity inside okay and um, emissivity of the glass cover absorptivity of the glass cover emissivity of your uh, plate okay let's sit and check this one and hit uh, hit apply and okay and set your simulation time to zero saving let's go inside and let's emphasize a little bit okay and hit run here okay so under such uh, um, uh, situation we have here okay um, this is your glass cover temperature this is your plate temperature PCM temperature there's no PCM because we only checked outlet water temperature okay uh, photon current uh, photovoltaic current module power okay and this is total power in kilowatt 300 uh, uh, number of modules so this is my uh, output power it's a nearly 30 kilowatt of power useful uh, uh, thermal energy through the water uh, thermal losses to the ambient module efficiency uh, uh, electrical efficiency 10 percent okay and overall efficiency this is your total system area okay suppose i would like to uh, increase uh, the solar dish a little bit okay let's increase this and uh, hit okay saving let's see okay so this is outlet water temperature has increased because there is more energy uh, penetrating the glass cover and and this is your power total power from uh, uh, your uh, photovoltaic system electrical power from your uh, photovoltaic system this is useful energy for uh, the water energy um, after gaining the heat from uh, the photovoltaic system so multiplying by mass flow rate we have mass flow rate 0 0.7 huge mass flow rate so we can uh, generate uh, this according to the number of modules okay you can run this dynamically yes you can run this dynamically you can uh, um, assign your solar radiation um, and uh, you can study the effect of this dynamically on your system performance uh, suppose i you can uh, imagine if i uh, just an example set your simulation time into infinity okay and saving I would like to control solar radiation uh, from here. Okay, let's go inside and measure this, and let's hit run and control the system by uh, moving the cursor, your keyboard cursor, right or left. Let's hit run and click here. Uh, solar radiation. I will control it, increase it a little bit. Okay, moving to the right. Okay okay moving to the right so as you can see this is there is um, some kind of a changing of your output uh, uh, water temperature okay as you can see here billet temperature almost high because of uh, high solar intensity okay and hit back again reducing your uh, solar radiation okay back again okay and hit up okay and stop your simulation time uh, suppose i would like to include uh, you can log here for example you can log here and uh, you can uh, withdraw some figures okay glass cover temperature varying because this is my uh, keyboard cursor tapping a plate temperature okay uh, losses to the ambient uh, water outlet temperature okay as you can see here uh, useful energy okay useful energy okay and so on 
so it depends on your uh, if you connect your solar radiation uh, that along one year uh, along one month along one day you can uh, uh, surely uh, extract a smooth line uh, better than this because this is by my hand okay and let's do it all and okay uh, suppose zero okay let's see if I uh, select adding PCM storage media okay storage media with uh, this one okay and uh, let's go back okay let's hit apply okay this is PCM temperature uh, outlet water temperature because there is uh, some heat uh, transfer through the uh, the PCM uh, material uh, instead of uh, water and surely if you increase the solar radiation uh, along the day let's go maximum little bit okay uh, you can see, realize little bit increasing in your water temperature and PCM temperature uh, and so on um, you can change your mass flow rate you can increase uh, the number of modules or decrease the number of modules here uh, changing the material of the plate inside the, the back bed of your thermal photovoltaic number of modules you can control uh, you can control dynamically mass flow rate if you'd like you can control solar radiation and solar radiation limit you can reduce it or increase it in order to uh, set the time that your unit will uh, enter the surface uh, along the day uh, of operation um, finally i would like to thank you very much for your interest in our model don't forget to uh, like uh, share and uh, subscribe uh, thank you very much